Alright, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Christian. I'm Dan. And uh, again, Mike is in chemistry, so we're representing him. And uh, as you know, we're working on the RPI directory. So where we were a few weeks ago, we had a basic API, we had a, a working prototype website, and we had an Android app in the works. And today, I'm proud to announce that Fast just got faster. So we've used extreme caching on all three of the clients, and we're proud to show that speed increase later in the demo. Uh, also, another thing we're doing is trying to develop more applications to use our API. So uh, we hooked up with the chatbot. So if you read our blog, you can talk to this chatbot using Google Chat, and uh, you send it a name, and it'll send you back some results. And also, we're, we're proud to announce we have a, a working Android app that Mike made. It's not on the marketplace yet because he's a little uh, reserved in releasing it yet. But uh, here's a, some screenshots. Has instant search just like the website. Shows the results as you type. You click on someone. It gives a detailed view. You can uh, click, and it sends. It opens up an email, client, email, uh, phone number. If they're a physical phone number, you can click, and it'll call right away. So uh, definitely some progress being made there. Uh, working on making it fast. There's a lot of latency with the 3G. So he's he's working to uh, improve that to make it even faster. Uh, so the API has received a pretty big uh, overhaul since last time we were here. Before it was just returning the data. Now um, we've, been, we've done some server-side sorting to make it much better. So for instance, if you search for the name, let's say John, there's not many Jonathans, but there's lots of less people with last name Johnson. So it'll give you more people with last name Johnson, more last name results if there's more last name matches. Also does paging, so you can get a page of whatever size you want. And so you can get uh, more data as it's the 20 from before. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Before we just took 10 first name, 10 last name, and now it kind of it intelligently decides if it's a first name or a last name, or it's more likely to be a first name or a last name, and gives more results based on that. So uh, everyone likes demos, right? So hopefully it works better than, than last time. So I'm going to show a demo of the website here. So I'm in an incognito window, so there's no uh, caching, no anything like that. Um, so let's see. So you can see it's pretty fast, um, but behind the scenes it's actually caching all this. So um, you'll notice now if I type it again, it's instant. So it's cached in JavaScript as well. It's, it's cached in HTML5. So we'll show you guys that later. Um, I'm, I'll search for me. Uh, it's pretty fast. So now if we go to the G my Gmail, I'll show you the chat bot. Um, everyone who uses Gmail should uh, have two-factor authentication. And <laughs> sorry about that. Results, uh, that morphe. Uh, I notice right there. So, uh, Peter, uh, see, so it's, it's pretty cool. So, definitely suggest if anyone uses Gmail, go ahead and add it. Uh, well, it's on the blog actually how to the address to add it. At. Actually, now that that's the version to me, it's a much simpler address. Yeah. So, you just add it, it's always online. Well, we hope it is. And, uh, <laughs> so, if we go back to here, um, obviously, JavaScript has been cleared, but if I search for Morphe, you notice it's instant because it's using HTML5 cache, which is really cool. So, uh, we're pretty proud of that. And these are sortable and all that good stuff. So, now we're back to. Uh, yeah, so we're actually going to talk about that. So the director doesn't actually store the department information, I don't think. Uh, we're looking into more sources to try and get some of that from somewhere. So that would be good information to have in the directory. So, so where we're going, uh, we had we presented our uh, presentation at the um, Sean Sullivan event, and we got a good good amount of feedback uh, from our users, and it was pretty good to, to have people type, have people use the product, see what they liked, see what they didn't like. Uh, one one thing they they thought could be improved was uh, the better display of results in the web app. Uh, 
they're kind of confused as to, you know, it showed NA if it wasn't a student. They're confused if that person, like, doesn't work here, but it actually was a faculty member. So we're, we're making a better uh, user experience by kind of clearly distinguishing faculty from students and as well as kind of seeing what is the best information to show on the web app. Should we show uh, office information? Should we just show names and emails? So we're kind of sorting that out as we go along. Uh, so in terms of the API, uh, we believe it's currently in a, a pretty good state functionality-wise. So the next step there is to try and get more information into our database. So like I said before, with students who know their major, but faculty who don't know what department they work for, but um, trying to get that information there would be good. Going to like um, the club database of the union and trying to get club matches. So if you search a student, you can see what club they're in. If you search club, you can see what students are in the club. Stuff like that would be really cool because we have a platform that can take any kind of information and search on it. So that, that's all we have. If you guys have any questions, uh, I guess one thing I'd like to say is um, about expanding on that is kind of have this grand vision to make uh, like an RPI info site uh, expand this just from the directory to like you search for Lally, it'll show information about the Lally School, like what professors work there, what their office hours are, and all that stuff. So that's kind of a grand vision, and uh, we're, we're moving toward that. So any questions? Um, so you said you're going to search for more information to put in. Uh, how does that get updated in the future? Is it going to be pulled automatically from somewhere, or do you just need to manually input Yeah, it, it would depend on the source. Yeah, yeah. ideally the source is we'd be able to pull automatically once every week or something. But okay. there might be a source that depends on your manual. <clears throat> so I should have probably told you guys before you presented. Um, I finished a Cocoa framework that talks to your API. So then I'm going to build an OS 10 app and an iOS app off of this framework, right? So that other people who want to build OS 10 or iOS targeted things using your API can just use this framework and don't have to go through the JSON stuff. They just get Cocoa types back. Um, you mentioned like office information. Is that something that your API supports now, or will it? And how is that going to work with regards to the communication? Uh, the, some some people have office information. Pretty sure you have to manually put it in there. Some people have manually edited information. I'm not entirely sure how that works, but yeah, there is some office information. It's just one of the fields that are in there. Yeah. So you're not going to do it after you. And yeah. Is there any, how far are you going to along in getting it towards like the web tech group or someone else? <laughs> So we've made it pretty modular, so uh, we can take it off App Engine at any point. Uh, but at this point, it's still there because we feel it's the fastest, it provides the best uh, speed for the users, as well as it's um, not on RPS network, so it can be accessed from a mobile app. Um, but yeah, we're, we're completely open to moving it. We haven't gotten any talks and anything about that, but uh, we're not against that at all. So. Yeah, you took some mashups with the uh, especially with the office information, the usual question is, where is your office? We do not know where it is located, so, so if you do it with Google Maps or the open map. Yeah, so we kind of have this like grand vision to make like a really nice uh, display of information. So you type like Lally, and this shows a map of Lally and all the professors. So if anyone wants to help us out with like a design of that, uh, it'd be greatly appreciated. Or any opinions on that? Um, yeah, so we, we kind of tooled with this, and the HTML5 actually caches up to 5 megabytes, so um, it could... It's technically enough to store all the yeah, information in our database. Yeah, the, the whole database is only like 4 megabytes, uh, believe it or not. It's very small, so um, we can download as much as we want, and uh, that would not be like impossible to implement. Uh, just, you know, downloading the directory and just having it local to search. Yeah, Mike's thinking about doing that with the Android app because the latency is pretty high, so it's probably he's thinking about just downloading the entire directory in a you know local storage and just searching for that. So in the future, might offer an API option to just get raw data from the database, no search or anything, to get pages of data, and then you can store it whenever 